Parlayhelp.com, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> January 19th report, we'll try this program one more time and see how the audio quality goes. No report yesterday, because I was right and I was wrong. Of course, this video is dark because I have a white shirt on, nonetheless. YouTube definitely was down for quite some time. And uh, as you many of you know, YouTube's owned by Google, and they have so much bandwidth, and they have... You know, so many servers and power. I mean, I never <clears throat> gone to YouTube and had an HTTP unavailable error. It all turns out now that I've gone back and looked, they've changed the way the whole thing works, or at least the way a lot of it works, and they're really, really moving towards high definition. When you're watching a video now, you can select 360, 480, or 720p. Everything is in a progressive mode versus interlaced. Which is good, which stinks for me, because we tried to do the high def thing, and I don't know, we'll see, see how the fade system does. Speaking of which, fade system goes 2 and 2 today, but we will add $40.50 to our bankroll. Bring our fade system up to 165 bucks. So far, so good. Sharp Edge Plays got it done for us today. Is they turned around and went two and two plus 40.5 dimes. They also have their special going on, which is 14 days for 30 bucks, and 50% of it goes to Haiti. So if you're following the fade system, you would have bought their plays, and 50% of your money would have went to help the folks out in Haiti, which is a good thing. Basher broke out the 100 dime play for the day, and he got a win. Nice job to him. He was the only one on Toledo. A lot of guys were on Pittsburgh. Thank God our fade guys weren't, or our ride guys weren't, because that game went down. <sighs> Who else had a good day? Oh, let's not forget about this week's winners. Our winner of the week, Basher was winning percentage. These guys were our bankroll winner of the week, as they went for it today in a big, big way. And basically, 3-0 in the college hoops, 30-1 and one plus 1727 bucks. So nice job to those guys. Charts are underneath me. Pain Insider is still, he took, he took the day off. He is still doing his deal with 50% of any purchase. NCA chart is underneath our regular chart. Still basically the same five guys. Basher made a significant improvement to his bankroll. But so did this week's winners, as they are now 17 and 10 in the NCA hoops, plus 5,726 bucks. Sharp Edge Plays is 51 and 49, and they are up 209.5 dimes. Bashers 10 and 6, 209 dimes. Probably Pete Sports is up 7, and Went on Dimes is up 24 dimes. We are going to ride, like I said. Pain Insider and Sharp Edge Plays. Up to Friday. Saturday, that may change. Sunday. I know it's going to change because Sunday is big NFL. I've already received some early plays for some guys. Those lines will be locked in. I just ask everybody to please remember to send me that play again so I don't forget. So what do you think of the new YouTube? It's interesting. All right. Well, I hope the sound quality of this is better than it has been. Otherwise, this Boinks TV program is going away as it continues to degrade. I'm not sure why. Although they do have a beta version. I don't know. We'll figure it out along the way. So, Basher, winner of the week for winning percentage. 1-0, 100 dime winner Toledo. This week's winner is Bankroll, winner of the week. 3-1 and one plus 1727 bucks. Who we are riding college only is Sharp Edge Plays. Nice day, 2-2 two and two plus 40.5. And as I said, Pain Insider took the day off. Whatever he plays on Thursday and Friday, we will be on TNT games or tonight. He may have an NBA play, which he has been extremely good at this year. <clears throat> we shall see. There's your report. We will see everyone Thursday night after all the games are over. We will see you Friday night after all the games are over. We will not see you Saturday, although I will have some sort of write-up with the NFL chart and the fade systems that we're riding. Depending on what Bash releases and what time I get it. Um, the dime rating, that may be the football play we ride. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll see how he does the rest of the, or the next two days. and uh, Next three days, actually. And then uh, what that dime rating is for that play. But we will get to all that as we get to the weekend. Have a great week. We'll see everybody Thursday night after all the games are over. Probably help.